All right, we're going to continue on and create the limbs. As you can see, he got separated the limbs, so it's pretty easy to create. Um, we can create the, the top. I'm sorry, um, my voice is a little sore, so <clears throat> that's why I sound a little deeper. All right. We want to create the head things around here, so that's pretty easy. We create a circle here. Press enter to validate. So what we do is stretch it out using the scale part of the, the manipulator. I don't think it's that big. It's like about that. And that goes above his head. Let me see. Let me make sure. Yeah, around there. All right, I think that looks good. So we copy. Pressing Control C and paste. Pressing Control V. And we should have another copy. And we just spin this one around and match it to that one. So far that's looking great. Let's save that. Um, right now smoothing is off so Right now, he doesn't look much of anything. <laughs> if you press like maybe two, you'll see that his body is a little round. Rounder that than number one. Number one looks a little bit more edgy, and of course, no smoothing gives him that box shape. So let's keep it at number one so you work better. And later on, we'll create the little mucus around him. All right, the limbs can be copied from from these. If you want to hide anything and you don't know what the like what form it is, I suggest you name them. So I know that's the body. This will be the right ear. I don't know if that's an ear, but I'm going to call it that. <laughs> and I'll call this one the left ear. So let's confirm that. All right. All right, we can copy and paste one of these and we can rename it to um, right arm one because he has about if you notice he has about like one two three four but as you get up here they become more bulbous so we'll just make it smaller moving next to his hand. Let's make sure it's next to his hand though. <laughs> From here it doesn't look like it is, but it is. And then he has a like, two of these, so we copy again and we paste. And then push that one up. And then this one, it seems like it's a little bit bigger. So we copy and paste from this one. All right, if I remember, we were scaling this one. Try to turn it back to its original <laughs> shape, if we can. 
If not, that's okay. You just need like a pretty fairly large um, digit. And if you want to give them that circle one at the end, just go to the primitives and create a circle from here. Press enter to validate. And this should all be, all right, that looks good. If you want to um, copy this entire thing and move it on this side, you can click here and left click and you'll choose all of these right here. Hopefully, but you can press shift or you can click right here. I don't want that one left ear. There we go. We copy and then we paste it on this side. Now the only thing we have to do is just Rotate it. And then match it up to the arm. All right, hold on. Crap. All right, we're, at least we're getting it to the way we want. There we go. Just move that back a little bit with the translate tool. All right. I think it's a little too far back. There we go. And that's his arms. And let's save that. All right, now that we got his left and right arms going, um, let's rename those. Right arm one, that's digit two. So I'll rename that to digit two. That's, and so on. And that's so now this is this side over here so we'll change the L I mean the R to a L this is where it becomes a little tedious but like that you know what you're working with all right this is number three I lost count <laughs> I think now is when we can um, we can create the nucleus. Right now, I want to give it that little color that um, that he has here. Right here is kind of yellow, and the the bulbous one is pink. So we go here to the material section. Let's save that. All right, so we don't have to rename them um, rename them all over again. All right, so we click here. Hopefully, we'll pick the entire thing. Control all. Let's see. All right. I picked each one. Hold on. Let's make sure. All right. It did. So we click new here. And we rename it to right arm. Um, I think that was number three. We validate that. Or. 
digit three because we're gonna have to do that to um to the left side too so might as well just keep it one all right so we set that to that and the material color we change it here we also named the uh, the material as well and then we here we change the color to like a yellow all right it should be yellow all right so we do the same to this one control all and oh I guess we're gonna have to do the same thing all right we press new I thought it would stay but I guess not rename digit three left all right so we validate that if you want to just use the same material from number three so you don't have to create another one all right so now we do the same thing to this one you select the face and press control all and again create another one Digit four R. All right, we validate. I always like to click set just in case. So we either choose one of these. So I'll use material six. Digit four. And it's like a pinkish. Oops, I forgot. I gotta stay on it. It's like a pinkish color. Nope. Hold on. I forgot we have to set it. And the other one's hiding. Crap. I hate when my program does that. So let's just name this one digit four. And give it that pinkish color. Yes. Replace the material. So like that we don't have duplicates. And there we go. There's the little pinkish color. We'll do the same thing to this side. All right. We rename it to digit four left. Digit four left. We validate that and then we use the digit for color. We set material and it should be pink. All right, so far so good. <laughs> we got our little guy. We'll, do, uh, we'll be doing the face last. Sorry for that worrying sound, that's my fan. My PC is old and it's overworking itself because I'm also uploading some videos. So right now, um, we got everything named, and we're going to create the little nucleus around this body. This can be a little tricky, but that's why we named the parts, so in case we need to um, make them disappear, so we can work with it. So what we do here is use the primitive circle and go around this little guy's body. It's gonna envelop him, so. Just get it to about as big enough as his body. All right. So you can work and see the, the, the inside. I suggest you um, change the color immediately. Control all. 
I wouldn't know what to call it, so I just call it outer membrane. Rename membrane. I hope I spelled it right. <laughs> outer membrane. So let's see. He's a lighter color inside, so I'll do that after. Um, I even forgot which one it is. Um, no, that's blue. That's pink. Digit 3, digit 4. Material 32. Let's see if this one will change the color. I want the green color. Now that's that would be like for him inside. Let's do the outer membrane. Nope. Let's control all and set this color to the membrane and we'll call it outer membrane. Remember, if you cut the character in half and do symmetry, it'll reset the color all over again. So sometimes it's best to have these um, already set, and you can just grab it and set it to the color that you want. Um, okay. <laughs> it looks like my computer's overworking itself. So, And we lower the transparency so we can see inside the little sack. So if you notice, if I click off, you can see inside the character. And let's save that. 